32 million Latinx people are expected to be eligible to vote in this election, an uptick of nearly 5 million more than in 2016. And according to Sac State Assistant Professor Cristina Flores Victor, they're eager to cast their ballots. The Latino electorate right now in recent polls is showing that we have highly motivated potential voters. So approximately 70% of the Latino electorate are saying that they are very motivated to turn out to vote. And around 80% are reporting that they have a plan to vote. Christina says these are really high numbers compared to previous presidential elections. By far, the number one issue for Latinx voters in all of these polls is COVID and the response to COVID. She says Republicans do not fare well on this issue. There is greater trust in experts and in Democrats than in President Trump on the issue of COVID. Christina explains Texas, Arizona, and Florida are the states where the Latinx vote could have profound consequences. In Texas right now, the most recent poll that just got dropped, uh, 66% prefer Biden to 25% Trump. This matters in a state like Texas because 30% of eligible voters are Latinx. In Florida, it's 20%. President Trump, he never polls above 50% with men or women, and the closest he gets is around 47% with Latino men in Florida. The Latino electorate tends to be younger, and the younger Latino electorate does have stronger preferences for Biden over President Trump. Christina also admits that the female or Latina voter turnout seems to lag behind other demographics of women voters. People are looking at this election to say maybe this is the this is the time when we kind of start to close that gap between uh, Latina voters and other types of women voters. 